everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Noreen Aguirre with Gali Jeans Ministries. Today I want to share with you a special message that the Lord has placed in my heart to share with you today. And it's a prophetic message um, because he is placed in my heart that we are going to be, we're experiencing at this moment a shift change. That's the words that he's placed in my heart, a shift change. And it's very important that we dive into his word and that we have his um, his word memorized that we try to memorize as many Bible verses as possible because what he's placed in my heart that maybe before we were able to get away with just going to church on Sundays and not having his word memorized but now we're going to be going through some difficult times and we need to know the word because if not the devil's going to come and he's going to deceive many people he's going to deceive people and he's going to come and like you know He's going to be coming like if it's something good and telling you, oh, this is, this is what it is. You know, I am, I am this person. I am that person. This is what, you know, so whatever it is, we need to know God's word. So we know, you know, you know, if it's the truth or not, okay, that we're able to recognize it through the word, through the word, you know, don't take anybody's word for, you know, anybody that tells you anything, any pastor, preacher, whatever, evangelist, anything that they tell you, the Bible, ver the Bible has to back up what they're saying. Okay. So don't say, don't just think just because they're saying something is necessarily coming from God. Everything, everything that I experience or somebody shares with me, I always go to the Bible and take it to the Bible and say, okay, is this what the Bible says? Okay. So it's very important that we meditate on his word, that we memorize his, the Bible verses as much as possible. Cause like I said, we're going to be going through a shift change and it's going to be very difficult. We're going to go through harder times. And what he's placed in my heart that if we don't, if we don't know God's word, we're going to be deceived. Not only that, we're going to, um, want to give up. We're going to want to quit. You know, we're not, we're not going to want to finish the race. The two Bible verses that he placed in my heart was, um, in first Corinthians that talks about finishing the race and, um, in Psalms 16, eight. So the first one is, it reads first Corinthians nine twenty four through 27. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for eternal prize. So I run with a purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I am disciplining my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should otherwise I fear that after preaching to others, I myself may be disqualified. Praise God. See, he's telling us we need to discipline our bodies. We need to continue keeping our eye on the goal, our goal, what God has placed in our hearts. Everyone has a purpose. Every life has a purpose. Every per life has a job to complete here on earth. Okay. So what he's placed in my heart to share with you is we need to keep our eyes on that goal, on that purpose, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and savior in order to make it to the finish line. Because if not, the devil's going to come. He's going to try to get us distracted, try to get us discouraged. We need to continue. We need to know his word so that we're, we're able to, to really like, okay, this is not of God. And, you know, and we're able to tell right away. Psalm 16, 8 reads, I keep my eye always on the Lord with him at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Praise God. See, with God, you cannot be shaken. If God is on your right hand side and he's constantly your right hand, a lot of people are right handed. That means everything you do, you're doing it with God, you know? So with God on your side, you cannot be shaken. So we need to keep our eyes and, and our focus on the goal. What is our goal? And not to be distracted. That's something that he's placed in our, my heart to share with you is that this time, the shift chain, change is going to be a little bit harder. If you don't know God's word, you're going to want to give up. So we need to continue meditating on God's word. That's why a lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't agree with preachers that they call them feel good preachers because they're focused on helping you feel good. And what they need to be focused is, is on God's word, dissecting in God's word. And what does God's word mean? What is he telling us with this word? Okay. So it's very important 
that, you know, because that's how we know we're equipping ourselves. God is telling us to be prepared, equip yourself, equip yourself with my word and who I am. So that way you can do all that I called you to do. You need to know who you are in, in Christ so that way you're able to do what he's called you to do. Amen. So this is a message that he's placed in my heart to share with you. I pray that it was a blessing to you. And to the next time, I'd like to leave you with John 8, 32. You should know the truth and the truth shall set you free. With the love of Christ, Serena Guire. Take care. Bye-bye.